Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawn, Simu Lawn Mowing Simulator. Um, this is the first time we get to do a non-garden mow. So we got the Jefferson Garden, we got gardens which we've done a couple times, and this uh, paddock old nook cottage. Yeah, uh, three and a half complexity, 500, yada yada. We have no options here. Or well, we have one option, I should say. And we spent money last time on advertising, so I don't know when that comes into effect, but... I guess at some point we might get, like, RP. Which I guess maybe unlocks things, I'm still kind of learning as well. Um, two three quarters to three and one eighths. So what we're going to do is aim for that higher three and one eighths and see if that helps our overheating issues. We didn't really have any last time, which is probably just more luck than anything. I also, let's see, we need to go get ground objects, all those gnomes and whatever that is. We don't run over any steak knives. So like, do we cut this garbage down? I don't know. I don't even see an object there, but we'll pick it up. Two more. Something was there and a bottle. So I think what we're going to try this time is take it a little time and use this bad boy. Um, is it even doing it? Yeah. Especially around things like this where we can't cut it down. Like, we're not going to mess up. So we just do a quick trim to give us a little leeway on the... Uh... This we can mow around. That's a lot. But like this tree... Whoa! Maybe I've gotten a little too low or just hit the ground. That was... Something. I'm not quite used to this. I think that's all mode. Is it doing it? I honestly can't tell. There we go. We'll get better at this as I uh, actually use it. So this tree I'm worried about. This looks fine. Maybe right there. It's like weird to, it's hard to tell kind of like how low you're cutting. Um, so we can get rid of all this stuff, right? This is bad. Can't quite get under there, but as much as we can, I'm not sure if that actually will block us from completing it or anything, but looks nicer at least. That's kind of the stuff I want. I want this like nasty gross stuff and like getting rid of it makes it look nice. Um, this building, yeah let's do a quick border. There we go. And okay, there's like no flower beds, which is usually where I was making mistakes anyway, so that'll actually help. Okay, I think there's one more tree, and then we'll just do one. Um, Yeah, that should be good. So we could go around the edge. I think we should. It kind of gives us a border. Except for like here maybe. Wouldn't be a bad idea. I 
That we don't need. Anytime I can't see like around the corner, it gets a little tricky. This whole corner should be good. Okay. I think we can just drive around that. We'll try it. I don't see any flowers, so that actually makes this, I think, just a lot easier. I guess the complexity was three and a half. I'm not sure what the other ones were. So start the engine. We gotta go to three and one eighths. And okay. Let's get our first kind of edge done. I didn't look at the percentage. I think it was like 99 again, so we got a little room for error. Cool. In the saga of my yard life, um, my yard guy came yesterday and hauled away a massive mound, I think I talked about it probably before, of like just yard waste. It was just overwrought with some volunteer trees, which are the nastiest overgrown things uh, that you'll ever encounter in your yard. And I kind of neglected them for too long, and then a like a dead bush that I had to cut out as well. So that's all gone, so now I can actually kind of finish up this like corner of the, our landscaping that uh, was looking pretty bad as of a month ago, and I don't... So I got some like organic weed killer coming, um, I don't know how well it's going to work, but I'll feel better about using it, I guess, because I don't know what else to do with the weeds, because they are awful. Like, I think it's been two weeks since I've touched it, and it's already, like, just a complete weed bed. So we'll get that. I'll probably put down, like, a thin layer of mulch in the interim, just to, like, make it look kind of nice. And then, um... Eventually, my mother is going to help me transplant some of her uh, daylilies, and we're just going to cover it daylilies. Low maintenance, simple. They're pretty. Yeah, this throttling thing is annoying me still, but I'm kind of like honestly ignoring it. And apparently you can like hold the trigger. I'm using a controller. So if you hold the trigger softer, like down, not down as hard or as much, you go maybe slower, but I'm not actually witnessing. Oh, I guess you do. So I guess I just need to go a little slower. I'm trying to push through too, uh, too much grass through the, through the chute. Go around this tractor a little better. But I guess in my world, I don't want to like have to control the right trigger that much, but I guess if that's part of the uh, simulation, then I'll get over it. Yeah, you can tell like, I think this is where I was overloading and like missed all this. Darn, I thought going through the Oh my goodness. This is absolutely a mess. Like, I'm only holding it down about halfway. And we're still, and it's still happening. So I don't really.
I guess we go like this slow. See how much fun this is? No, I don't want to. I want to go. Okay, that's better. We can say around three miles per hour, three and a half. And we're not getting that. I wonder if a lot of it's just the quality of the mower. Like once we upgrade, maybe... I'm trying to get a little more room around this tractor. Okay, that was a good, a good pass. No, that wasn't. See, I think last time I talked about like horror movies for a long time, or maybe just Incantation. Um, I'll, last time I brought up uh, Horror Virgin, the Horror Virgin podcast. It's, it's very good. Um, and it turns out next week they are doing Incantation. So I will not actually ever finish the movie, but I am looking forward to kind of hearing their thoughts on it. And seeing if, you know, it's always kind of interesting to see if people agree or why they would disagree. Um could be a mood thing, maybe I just wasn't in the mood for a movie, even though I thought I was, but yeah. See what they say. Yeah, not to harp on it, I, I know I've harped on it a lot, but I would say the one reason I would stop playing this game, and probably one reason this series is going to be pretty short, like, like I've kind of mentioned, this will probably be like maybe a five, like a five uh, episode se series, like just kind of see what it's about, get some money, look at some things. Um, but one of the reasons is I, I really, the, the throttle that, that, that is really like, it kind of ruins it. Um, like it's kind of crazy to make a game, like put so much time into a game like this. I got to turn it down on my headphones a bit. It's still insane um, how loud this is even though I've turned down all the settings um yeah to like put in some like I've tried game development like just for fun and it is so big like even just thinking of the simplest task like is a tremendous amount of work um and so to do that and have this full-fledged game which seems really cool like, as far as, like, just gameplay-wise, it's really fun. Um, it looks like the, kind of the macro game of um, expanding your company and maybe hiring workers, things like that. Seems really, f f like, full-fledged and could be a lot of fun to keep working towards. And then to make this one decision where you can't just mow without like this constant error, even even if it emulates real life a little bit. Um, oh well, like if it if it makes the game less fun, you gotta either change it or give give us the option to change it. Um, it's kind of like Farming Sim does a really good job with that, where they give you a lot of toggles for the mechanics, so you can kind of play how you want if you don't want to. For example, like plow after planting certain crops, then you can just turn it off in the options. It doesn't, you're not punished. You don't make less money. You don't not, you know, it's not like you don't have access to achievements. It's just, oh, you don't like that part of the game? Well, turn it off and keep having fun. Uh, so for example, myself, I turned off the field stones in Farming Sim 22 because I thought they were just boring and tedious and um, just not, it did not add to the game in any way. Um, so it's like, okay, turn them off. I don't have to interact with them and they, they need to do that for this throttle thing. Cause it is, um, it is not additive. So yeah, 
Is that the last time I'll complain about it? Mm, I make no promises. Otherwise, this yard's going pretty smoothly. Not having any, like, flowers that we can run over helps a lot. Uh, we do have a lot of areas where you might have to go back and kind of hit just because they... I think it's when it overheats, it doesn't quite cut them. Oh, you know what? I keep running into the uh, hedge there. And I kind of forgot that there's like a collision penalty, and I'm curious if we're going to get those. Uh, it doesn't seem to tell you when you do it, because I've never seen one like pop up. But in the end stats, it'll say, like, like we'll lose money. Oh my goodness. Okay. Trying not to... I'll try not to mention it. Um, I always lose a little bit, bit of money on collision. Slow down, it says. Okay. I'm going to slow down. I mean, it makes sense. I get it. Like, I'm not saying it's unrealistic. I just want to be very clear on that. All right. Yeah, we like all that. All that's a mess. I'm going to go around and get this border a little wider. Oh boy. I'm still really obsessed with watching YouTube mowing videos. Um, I just can't stop. They are so soothing. Um, I have now subbed to various different channels of mowers and yard cleanups. They're really good about finding really awful yards to do. Um, but then like at the end of the day, they are just like helping people for free and that's, it's awesome. Uh, but it is really a joy to watch. A very clever, uh, genre of YouTube content. We're actually going to have to go empty. Um, let's do that. You can see in the bottom right, our waste is full, like our bucket is full, so I think we just back it up. And we have to get off. Change cutting blades. Do you think that'll help? Okay. I've done this once before and I thought I just backed it up. Oh, yeah, there we go. I was missing the notification. Okay, well we changed the blades. Maybe that was my issue. I thought I went to the shop last time and like repaired everything, but maybe all that complaining was just uh, my fault. Just gotta sharpen those blades. Nope, there it is. I'm cutting at the wrong height. Oh, I accidentally...
Well, the good news is it was higher than I need to cut, so I can just go back over it. But I still have that throttle issue, so I don't know. Okay, well. Let's finish the big stuff and then we can always come back and clean up. Kind of keep shooting me forward. There we go. Yeah, it didn't look like that tree had been trimmed around it. I think I didn't cut low enough. Yeah, there's like a little hill there that I keep going a little too fast down. Um, let's see, I went to Weird Al a couple days ago for the fifth or sixth time. I honestly can't remember if I mentioned it in my farming sim let's play as well. I'm not used to doing like two series at once, uh, but I need to get used to it. So hopefully I am not double doubling up here, but yeah, it's what a great show. Like it was his like more chill non-costume change tour. Uh, so he did like mostly originals, which are the best anyway. And yeah, it's just, just still so energetic and great and has the same band from like the, 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 when he started in the early 80s and just awesome to watch. And gosh, he always ends with, the, if you've never seen him live, I don't even know, if, maybe there's a video on YouTube of this, but at the end of the show, he always does this weird thing, him and his band. And it's it's hard to explain, but it's 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 musical, but very very strange. Um, and they do it every show, and it's awesome. It's so weird and novel, um, and it's not on like an album. Um, so if you've never seen a show, I highly recommend just for that last thing they do. Uh, but again, it's, I'm sure it's been on. I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. I've just never actually looked for it. Let me mow. And then yesterday I went to a wedding. Not yesterday, two days ago. Went to a wedding. Uh, those are always fun. I'm at that age where it's like they're starting to slow down a bit. Because um, everyone everyone's kind of like married off already or not wanting to be um so there are like summers where you'd have like five four or five in a summer and you're like uh but now it's to the point where it's like oh man i wouldn't mind that again like kind of in the moment kind of forget how fun they can be um so yeah it was a good time see friends because the older you get i feel like the Fewer you also just see friends. It's it's very strange to me. We are, I guess, creatures of home, uh, wanting who want to be at home, and so we often are. Uh, we I think just 
30 year olds. And then yesterday, just watch Gilmore Girls all day, because why not? It's a great show. It's time for a rewatch. So we're doing that, and uh, I'm listening to the Gilmore to Say podcast. Just for some uh, little extra bonus content there, and it's it's a great pairing. That show is uh, perpetually in fall, which is always cozy, except for the few episodes when they're in winter, and the one episode when they're in summer. Hazy, lazy, what is it? Hazy, lazy, crazy days, something like that. So. This was quite a large yard today. Not sure if they're ever going to get smaller. Be curious to see how it progresses. is uh, overwhelming when you look around the yard like how many little patches are not mowed Need a little more leeway here. Stop doing that. I guess I can't not mention it. It is really, uh, I don't know if it's hard to watch, but it's sure hard to, to play. It's probably hard to listen to. I, I understand that. Next, next episode, I'll try not to say anything about the uh, overloading. Maybe I'll just try not to overload. Would also be a good thing. Um, but for now, we are so close. We just have to go over all the stuff that was missed due to overloading. We're just going to do a quick sweep. Um, there's a way... That's what I wanted. So I know there's like a scan button. Let's try to get to that 99%. What? Ground damage is caused by turning your vehicle at full lock. I don't know what that means. Whoops. Okay, well, don't turn your mower. I'm learning a lot. I just want to get to that 99. Come on.
Well, it's not moving a muscle. Wow. Okay, I can't even see like what needs to be cut a lot of the times. Okay, we got point one. Like all this didn't, so like basically everything I did with the trimmer didn't trim or something. So we'll just maybe not do that again. Hmm. Or I need to just shove it into the ground. Because at a certain point it like shakes, and so I take that as a warning not to do it, but maybe that's how low you're supposed to go. Okay. So close, come on. I wouldn't mind if that stayed on. There, 99. Um, how do you check? Oh, we have to get to 99.5. Can we stop early? Like, what happens if we just go end early? Because I, I don't think we're going to get to 0.5 anytime soon. Um, and I kind of like just need to go anyway. So I'm just curious to see, can we just like kind of skip out? Loss of earnings is fine. How much loss is, is going to kind of make a difference? Oh yeah, we still got a lot of money. So we lost... I don't see a fine, but we made most of the money. Um, I'm okay with that. That would, that would have taken forever. Advertising campaign gave us 210 RP. New level unlocked. Amateur challenge unlocked. Cool. Okay, let's look at our map quick to see what we unlocked. Um, just more gardens. Okay, cool. All right, that's what we'll do next time. Um, are you sure to exit? Yeah, I am sure. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll mow a little bit more next time. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below if you wish, and have yourselves a very nice day.